on the Cisco ACS server, we need to go to network configuration and add a AAA client. In other words, we need to add the Cisco router. We need to specify the host name of the router. So I'm gonna call this router one. And then we need to specify the IP address of the router. 10.1.1.201. The key that we used was Cisco shown over here. So we need to specify Cisco as the key and we are going to authenticate in this example using TACAX, Cisco IOS. There are other options such as Radius, but we'll use TACAX in this example. And I'm gonna click Submit and Apply to apply that configuration. Once again, under Users, we only have a user called Admin. So now let's test whether we can log back in to router one as David. So I'll enter David and the password. Notice authentication has failed. On the TACAC server, going to reports and activity, we can look at failed attempts. And we can see here that we've got a failed attempt for David. External database user invalid or bad password. I'll log in as Mary. Username Mary, password Cisco. I'll refresh the logged in failures and notice Mary has failed. But if we log in as admin Cisco, the authentication passes and we are able to access the router. Show run, pipe include user shows us that we have a user David and a user Mary with the relevant passwords but the local username and password database is only used if the TACAC server is not available. So as an example, if I stop the TACAC service on the TACAC server and exit out of the router and then log in as David, I can access the router. So I can only use the local username and password database if the TACAC server is down. If, however, the TACAC server is up, so I'll start the service again. If I try and log back in as David, notice authentication has failed. And once again, on the TACAC server, we can see that David failed the authentication. I can, however, log back in as admin. Now, what's really nice about this is that you can create centralized user accounts. So I could create a user called user1, set to their password, and click Submit. So when I look at the available users, I now have a user called user1, and without making any configuration changes on the router, we can log in as user one. So that user doesn't exist in the local router configuration, but exists on the TACAC server. If I want to, I can disable the user account. So user one is now disabled. Back on the router, if we try and log in as user one, Authentication has failed. And once again, looking at the reports on the ACS server, we can see failed attempts, user one, account is disabled. So when they try to access this device, TTY0, in other words, the console, their login has failed. If they try to access that router remotely, so they try to telnet to the router, and login as user one. Authentication has failed. And refreshing the information on the TACAC server, we can see that user one has failed the authentication, account is disabled, and they try to access TTY98, in other words, one of the VTY lines on this router. We're getting a lot of central information from the ACS server. 
What we can also do is enable some debugging. So login as admin, and then we can use commands such as debug, tacax, and I'll just enable all of it, and debug, triple A. And in this case, we'll enable authentication. So when the user tries to access the router, we can see quite a bit of information. So AAA authentication login, the user's trying to log in. We're using the default method. Note on the VTY lines, no authentication methods have been set. It's inheriting the default method. So default is being used. Authentication start packet created. We're trying to get a response from the user. In this case, the user took too long, so let's try that again. I'll put in the username of user one. So we can see now it's asking for a password. And notice the response failed. The server 10111 has rejected that username. So let's put some spaces there and log in with the admin user. Login succeeded. So in this case, we received a response of pass. Authentication succeeded. So I'll go through the full process again. Telnet to the router. Default list is being used. We're asking for the user account. So that's admin. Asking for the password. Authentication succeeded. So we can see what's taking place in the background here. AAA authentication is being used. The router is told by the AAA server to ask the user for the username and then to ask them for their password and then to tell the user that they succeeded the authentication and can log in. So that's an example of basic AAA authentication on router one. Now there are two ways to set this up. We're using the older method at the moment because these routers don't support the newer method where we create a group. So I'll show you that in a moment. But before I do that, I'll copy this configuration to router to you to show you that we can create a central authentication server. Now at the moment, we haven't configured router two on the ACS server so we can still log in as David. So under network configuration, we need to create an entry for router two. So router two, 10.1.202 is the IP address of that router. Show IP interface brief. So there's the IP address. Key used is gonna be Cisco, and I'm gonna click submit and apply. So that router has now been configured. So try and log in as David. Authentication has failed. Try and log in as admin. Authentication passes. We've now configured two routers with centralized authentication. Under the reports, failed attempts, we can see that David failed the authentication attempt on the second router. So we're seeing information for both router two and router one. Let's configure router three. I'll take this configuration and paste it into router three. On router three, we can log in as David, so that works, but we can't log in as admin because we still need to configure the ACS server. So back on ACS, we'll add router three, IP address is 10.1.1.203, password or key is Cisco. Click submit, the router is now configured. So previously we couldn't log in as admin, but now hopefully we should be able to. Let's try again. David failed there. So admin, 
So admin Cisco works. David Cisco doesn't work because the router is now communicating with ACS, but admin Cisco does. So we've now got three routers configured to communicate with an ACS server. These routers are using an older version of iOS. They're using version 12.4, and that version doesn't support TACX server groups, which is the new way of doing things and is what you need to know for the exam.